Hello, welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a wig business for cancer patients. My name is Mary and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start your wig business for cancer patients, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. The loss of hair is one of the side effects of chemotherapy for cancer patients. Nobody wants to be seen bald, whether they are undergoing chemotherapy or not. They would always want to get good-looking wigs in order to look beautiful and possibly avoid unwanted attention from others. The American Cancer Society is a fantastic resource that provides free medical wigs to adult women who are financially qualified and suffering from hair loss due to cancer treatments, but those who are not qualified will always look for a place to buy their own wig. This is why the production of wigs for cancer patients has continued to rise. You can start your wig making business for cancer patients in a small town in the United States, and if you're consistent and creative, it won't be long before your brand is nationally and internationally recognized. 1. Gain an understanding of the industry. Wig manufacturing for cancer patients is a subset of the wig and hair piece production industry, which includes establishments that specialize in producing wigs, hair pieces, and hair extensions for both aesthetic and medical purposes. The wig and hair piece production industry is heavily reliant on consumer spending to drive demand for industry products. The economy began to recover from recessionary declines over the last half decade, with both the Consumer Confidence Index and disposable income increasing. Going forward, the industry is expected to thrive as the U.S. economy continues to improve and consumers' discretionary budgets are expected to expand. The wig and hair piece production industry is a significant part of the American economy, generating over $224 million per year from more than 696 wig and hair piece production factories. Over 1,997 people are employed in this industry. According to experts, the industry will grow at a 4.0% annual rate. In this industry, no player can claim to have a lion's share of the available market. A close examination of the wig and hair piece production industry reveals that entry barriers are low and consistent. For example, the capital required to start a wig making business is modest, consisting primarily of leasing a commercial property and purchasing machines and initial inventory. Over the last five years, increased vacancies and lower leasing rates as a result of the recession have improved new entrants' ability to find low cost property in desirable locations. The fact that there are readily available markets for hair extensions and similar products is one of the major factors that encourage aspiring entrepreneurs to venture into the wig making business for people with cancer. Despite the fact that the wig making industry is highly competitive, if you can carve out a niche for yourself, people will readily accept your products. You can begin on a small scale, selling your products within your city or state, or you can begin on a large scale, with your products distributed throughout your country and even other countries around the world. Two. Carry out market research and feasibility analysis. You want to be aware of your demographics and psychographics. This type of business has a well-defined demographic and psychographic composition. It caters to women undergoing chemotherapy. 3. Determine which niche you want to focus on. There is no market for cancer patients in the wig industry. Those who manufacture wigs for cancer patients also manufacture medical wigs in order to keep up with the industry trends. Branding and packaging are important factors that can help you increase sales and gain market prominence in this industry. You wish to assess your competitors. The competition in the wig making industry extends beyond competitions in your city or country. This is due to the fact that major wig brands from China, India, Peru, France, Italy, the United Kingdom, and other countries can be found in stores across the United States of America. As a result, it is correct to say that competition in the wig manufacturing industry is fierce. The truth is that regardless of the level of competition in an industry, if you have done your due diligence and properly brand and promote your products or business, you will always make headway. Just make sure you have what it takes to produce high quality products and understand how to reach your target market. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking a like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a wig business for cancer patients. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.